Lomachenko was damn near 35 years old when he turned pro. He had 400 some fights, bro. Um, he lost his second professional fight against a guy who had lost already, bro. You on a way better start than Lomachenko, in my opinion. But um, how do you feel about that? People automatically comparing you to Loma Chicken. I mean, um, uh, dude. Yeah, uh, I've been seeing some comparisons, but like you said, he was way older than me when he went uh, pro. And uh, he had already went to the Olympics, everything. You know, uh, I'm only 17. Uh, I fight all undefeated fighters, you know, I'm 3 0 so far. So I feel like um, I'm going to be a way bigger, greater champion than he was. Uh, JC, she asked, hey, Kamel. Do you ever get compared to Javante Davis? And I was gonna ask you about that, but go ahead. Yeah, all, all the time. Uh, every day somebody walk up to me, either say I look like Tank or people in boxing say I fight like him. So yeah, I, all the time. I I think they need to stop that shit and I, I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a second, bro. But uh, how do you not get, hey, bro, you young, bro, and you got money. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. this, this question is important to all the young fighters coming after you. All the amateurs to be watching my shit. This is important, and what he brought to say, take notes. Yo, Kamel, how do you not get distracted from all the little uh, Tatianas from uh, when fighting? Uh, uh, you just gotta be locked in, you know? Uh, you gotta be able to separate it, you know? Of course, you know, uh, I don't live a boring life, you know, I have fun sometimes, but you always gotta put boxing first, you know? Uh, and or anything you're doing, you know, you gotta put your um your goals first, your your uh whatever like your job, whatever you do, and put that first uh, over pleasure. So um, you just gotta be locked in. You gotta know what you want in life. To kill all this stupid uh, uh, boxing fans, they don't know shit. You know what I mean? They just say the stupidest right. questions that you ever heard in your life because. Like I say, 90% of boxing fans don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, they steady asking this question, bro. And you know what I'm about to ask you. I asked you in the DM. Could you please shut down this whole future fight with your Vontae Davis talk, bro? You know what I'm saying? Please shut that down. I I'm going to give you the floor, bro. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's most likely never going to happen. First of all, me and Tank are in two totally different weight classes. And by the time I reach that level, like up there, Tank will probably be retired. He's already said that he only, uh, he want to fight with uh, Shakur, Devin, and who else? What he say, like Tiafimo or something, and then he want to retire. So, you know, Tank will, Tank will be retiring soon. Thank you. And they want they want to compare it to the young lion versus the old lion. Maybe they could, bro, when Floyd fought Canelo, Canelo was 42 and old. Kamel got three fights in. Y'all need to stop that shit, bro. He respects Javante Davis, but Canelo had 42 fights. Floyd had 44. I mean, they was maybe similar in record. Kamel got three fights. Y'all need to stop that shit, bro. They respect each other. They different weight classes. Tank's 30 years old with 30 fights. Kamel is 17. Y'all do know that, right? I'm saying he's 17 years old, bro. Let the man live. And he's, he's off to a better start than Vasily Loma Chicken. You know what I'm saying? Lomachenko lost the second fight. Kamel got a knockout. Y'all gotta stop that shit, bro. Like, I'm dead serious. Hey, and if, if you if you yeah. ask that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block y'all. Like, for real, bro. I get this question a lot, bro. I don't mean to ask clown shit, bro, but they steady asking. Uh, Man, Tommy, Tommy Reborn, bro. Respect to you, bro. Do you still have a beef with Mr. Dean the Great? Is there a beef? Bro, I don't even think he worried about dude, bro, but go ahead. Yeah, uh, Dean, he... He is a clown, you know. Uh, he, uh, you know, I, I'm a real fighter. If we ever did cross path, I'll, I'll knock him out. He, he know that. That's why he was real quiet when I tried to. I tried to get a fight with him when I was still amateur, you know. But uh, um, I'm professional now, you know. I, I'm trying to get belts, you know. If I ever did fight him, though, he going to sleep. He knows that. Dean the Great is an influencer boxer, bro. Ain't nobody thinking about him, bro. He uh he a goofy, bro. Like real shit. Like he like he like a goofy for real. Ain't nobody worried about no influencer boxing, bro. Uh Kamel's on the way right. to become a pound for pound king and champion. Ain't nobody ain't nobody about no ain't worried, ain't nobody worried about no fucking Dean the Great. 
You know what I'm saying? Like real yeah. shit. Like y'all can stop asking that bullshit, bro. Ain't nobody worried about buddy, bro. Fuck dude. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is, bro. Real shit. That's what it is. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody worried about that. They said Carmel ain't got no chill. Oh man. You know what? The more the more I've been seeing you, man, the um your progression, you've been talking trash more, bro. And I I, I like that. Ever since you turned pro, you basically saying, fuck everybody. I'm taking your girl and I'm knocking you out. Like AB say, I left for his belt and his girl, bro. Nah, yeah, definitely. You gotta know how to uh, sell yourself. You, you can't be a fake either, though, because it'll it'll come off corny. Like uh, yeah. like the way the way Ryan the way Ryan does stuff sometimes comes off corny. He got a big fan base though, but uh, so it worked for him. But it, it come off a little corny. Sometimes I feel like he is forcing the issue. Like, yo, just chill and focus on your training as opposed to the social media. In 12 months, in 2025, this time around in April, um, where do you see yourself? I mean, or what we know about Carmel Moten? I see myself, you know, high in the ranks. If I don't have a belt, you know, getting ready to fight for a belt uh, real soon. And, uh, it's, you know, I'll still be undefeated, you know, have a high knockout uh, percentage and just, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be seeing me winning. If you were to share the ring with any champion today, who would it be? Just, you know, for the experience or whatever. I'd just say uh, Tank, just because, you know, I, I, I just really like Tank as a fighter. You know, I feel like that'd be a great fight. It'll uh, test both of our skills. You know, uh, now you really gonna have they, people they asking gonna go, you. They gonna go crazy. Now you really gonna... oh, yeah, they, they gonna go crazy. I just, I would say tank. Just, I feel like that'd be like a similar to like a Floyd versus Diego Corrales type thing. Stay tuned. You know, I'm back in the ring soon. Four and zero. You know, expect another great performance. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see that? How you feel about that? <laughs> 